to the door with the brown box alongside with my um, mail for the house. And he did not ring the doorbell, okay? He banged on my door. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel for all my old subscribers and to all my new subscribers. Hello and welcome to Vasha's channel. I really appreciate you guys for deciding to rock with me on this journey and whatever it is that you like about me, whether it's the music, <laughs> the hair, or my beauty uh, makeup tips and stuff like that, I appreciate you all for rocking with me. OMG guys, can y'all please help me out with this word so I can understand it please? consistency consistency oh my gosh like i really need to just have that word in my everyday <laughs> life because i am not being consistent like i should be i know you guys are about to ask me what kind of hair i got in my hair right now what i've been doing but I will be busy for the month of February, so I'll be doing a few uploads, and this, of course, is one of them. So I am so sorry if I haven't been consistent, but I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more. I already did a get to know me tag, but this time I wanted to do a story time. I've always wanted to do one, but I just could never decide on which one I wanted to talk about. Um, well, the topic, of course. So I had to get a little help from Instagram, and I did post... Um, this and if you guys don't follow me on instagram know, please I do, do. Have a youtube account and i want to do a story time but i have two topics and it's hard for me to choose one so i'm gonna post it and you guys need to help me on which snap so i need y'all on which one to talk about and then i posted this and then it said <laughs> number one my mailman cursed me out <laughs> over some jays and number two how i found out that it was going down in my ex's dm so pretty much everybody wanted to know about the mailman <laughs> cursing me out over some jays i know it sounds crazy it's like what the hell what happened so let me get down to it so it was about 2013 i had just worked at my first little job i got my w-2 uh you know it's tax season it was just the beginning of 2013 actually and um of course i was in school I, it was like my first semester i think completed of college um and you know i'm trying to get up my on my money game so when i got what i was going to receive for my tax return it was like a cool couple couple hundred dollars and of course me being a struggling college student i was like i'm about to splurge on myself honey i'm about to buy me some shoes so i think i bought me about like maybe four pairs of shoes when i got my tax money me like three pairs of nike rochets a pair of adidas and i got me a pair of jordans and these jays i've been watching them for a while a friend of mine she had a pair and when i think about it guys i don't know why i just didn't do what my mom did because they had them in stores in stock her and i we are not far apart from like shoe sizes I don't know why I just didn't go to Robert Wayne or like Foot Locker to just buy the shoes. But any home, I just decided to go on eBay. And of course, when you're on eBay, you want to look at the, the seller's profile, see if they have five stars, their um, feedback and stuff like that. You really want to make sure this person really sells authentic J's because there are people out there that could really, really, really rip you off for your shoes. So make sure with whatever you do, you look at somebody's profile and see the type of things that they sell and this guy i could tell like he was a sneakerhead and he looked like he sold jays um on that for like maybe three four years and i think since he'd well i would think since he had so much experience this situation that i uh have that had happened to me i really wouldn't think it would have happened since he's been in the game for so long but any home so he had the shoes he had it in a size seven these are the retro tens they're not really retros but i'll show you guys what they look like they are these shoes right here so these are the shoes that i purchased for him they were in a size seven they are very big on me i normally do wear between a six and a six and a half in kids but i just bought them y'all because i wanted to get my hands on these shoes so thank god they're here so as you guys can see i do have the shoe but i'm just going to tell you guys the experience for me to get these damn shoes <laughs> okay so um of course you know i was checking him out seeing that he had like you know a hundred percent he was cool like he was legit and i decided to buy these shoes of course 
and when I bought it, um, it took me two weeks to receive the shoes. Two weeks. I, I still cannot understand why it took that long, but it took two weeks for me to get those shoes. Um, <clears throat> of course, when I purchased them a couple hours later, you know how eBay does it. They send you an email, and I think he sent me a personal um, message through eBay as well. And he's just like, thank you for, you know, purchasing these shoes. I hope you like them, and I hope it, you know, reaches to you safely. So I thought it was. And, <laughs> um, you know, all of that happened, and it was like the next day. I go and I see the tracking number, because, you know, you need it to be a couple, like, hours so it could be registered into the system. And I guess the guy is from New Jersey, and I live in California, Compton to be exact and um, and it was like an error that happened like it showed me like it's coming from New Jersey and it's in transit and then I seen later on that it was shipped back to New Jersey the next day and I'm just sitting here like I hope this guy did not think that he was gonna get my money and he gonna have the shoe sent back to him so that was like okay red flag something's wrong here I gotta figure it out so um you know I messaged him I'm like okay what's going on I see that the shoe is going back to you can you tell me what's up and be honest with me because right now I'm getting paranoid and he's like oh don't worry I think the mailman or somebody there they read it wrong and it was supposed to be sent to me but they shipped it back to him maybe he didn't write the address right I don't know what was going on what pissed me off and what I wish that he would have done was gave me a new tracking number because it was so hard to keep up with these shoes after it already had been sent back to him and then he sent it back using the same tracking number so then that took forever to log into the system that it was in transit to come to california so i'm just sitting here just like oh my goodness every day y'all i'm checking it checking it i'm checking you know and then he used it with priority mail like the ups usps post office don't get me wrong y'all i feel like that is used for mail only i like when my shoes come through ups fedex i know that it's you know legit because they don't make mistakes like that or from what i've experienced but usps yes they do so i was just really really ticked off i'm like you must be cheap as hell that you can't afford fedex or ups but anyway i just wanted my dang shoes so, you know, days are going by, y'all, days. It just kept saying the same thing, like, it's sent to New Jersey. I'm calling every, you know, freaking post office so they can help me. They're like, it's in transit, it's in transit. You know, just wait. The system is going to log it up. Um, You know, they'll update it soon. And I just feel like they was taking advantage of me because I was young. And I know they can hear it in my voice because at that time, 2013, I was, like, what, still 18, 19 years old. So I'm just like, man, whatever. <laughs> and I was just, I wasn't over it because I would not give up on my shoes, especially if I spent some points so uh finally i seen that it says in transit to compton so I, I was like cool okay i know that it's coming here that's cool so this time when i checked that it was around like noon and then i checked it like three hours later and it was like around 3 p.m and then it said delivered to victoria street and it's kind of near compton but i'm just like but why was it delivered there who the hell has my shoes? So I started getting mad. I called my mom. She's like, you know, don't worry about it. Let's call the post office and stuff like that. So I did call the post office and the branch, of course, where I'm located at all. I spoke to the supervisor. I said, sir, I've been waiting on my shoes for so long. You know, it's been like going on a week and a half now. I just need to know about my shoes. I'm like, you know, it's saying that it reached here. It's saying that it's there. You know, where's this Victoria Street? That's not my address. What what can I do to get my shoes? I'm going to put a disclaimer because I don't want to post his name. But I'll say that his name was like maybe uh, Adam. Adam says. So what you want me to do about it? The way I was raised, y'all, my parents taught me to respect your elders. You know, you don't ever disrespect them. That went out of the window. That was like going through one ear and out the other. You're not going to disrespect me and talk to me like that. So I was like, um, excuse me, sir. I was like, don't, don't, don't come at me like that. 
I was like, because I could come up to that post office and get turned up on you because I just don't understand where my shoes is. And I'm asking you to help me as your customer. You want to come at me like that? And he all like, oh, settle down, ma'am. I didn't mean to turn you up or get you mad. He was like, um, we will definitely get on it. Give me the tracking number. We will definitely find out where your shoes are. And then he said, here's my assistant if you can ever reach me. Her assistant name, let's call her Lisa. So Lisa, she's over here helping me out. She's doing, um, you know, trying to track it down. She's like, it should be sent to your house in two days. No later than two days. Y'all, two days came. It passed. Still no shoes. I'm like, you know what? I told my stepdad, can you take me to the post office so we can turn up in there? And he, he was down with it. He was like, all right, I'm going to take you. So we went up there. I'm like, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, where is Lisa? And she's like, oh, hi, hi. Who You know, who are you? I'm like, you've been talking to me. It's been shine. You know, you've been talking to me on the phone. I need to figure out where my days are. Like, where are my shoes? You said no later than two days. Two days passed, boo-boo. Like, where are my shoes? I'm like, okay, settle down. I did not expect for you to come here. I'm like, yeah, because I really feel like y'all taking advantage of me. Is Can I go to the Victoria Street? Like, what can I do to get my shoes? She's like, you can't go there. That is the department where they scan your shoes and blah, blah, blah for you to get them. So I'm just sitting here like, but why you didn't tell me that before? You just told me like this was just a place where they just keep the shit. I was like, whatever. She was just giving me the whole runarounds, y'all. Like, it was just confusing me. So my stepdad was like, so we really can't just go up there and get the shoes? Like, she just can't sign off a letter? Like, something that she received it? Like, that's all she wants? Like, what's the big deal? She's just like, no, you can't do that. Just wait, sweetheart. It should be sent to you. Don't worry. I'm like, I'm taking your word for it. But if it is not here by tomorrow, I must come back here and you need to take me to get the shoes. She's like, don't worry, you should be there. Y'all, the next day it comes. I finally see, like, my um, mailman. Um, he, like, was delivering the mail to every other house, but he's, like, skipped mine. So I'm thinking, oh, well, I guess it's here today because he's going to give it to me. Y'all, of course, this wasn't the box that it came in. Of course, it's in a brown box. But he came to the door with the brown box alongside with my um, mail for the house. And he did not ring the doorbell. Okay? He banged on my door. Now, my, do my dog, he already hates the mailman. And now he's even livid because he hates when people bang on the door. So, I'm going to tell y'all what it sounded like. It was like, like, like banging, you know? <laughs> so, I'm sitting here. I'm ready, like, ready in the living room because I, I need to figure out why are you banging on the door. He has the brown box in his hand and he's, like, doing this to the door. <laughs> Just yelling at me, y'all. I'm opening, like, you know, the front door, the bigger door to get to the screen door and he's like, this is what you want? This is what you want, huh? You want to call my manager? You want to call my supervisor, Adam, huh? Like, I don't know where he was from. He had, like, a, a, a foreign accent. I think, like, Chinese or something. And he was, <laughs> it was just going off. He was like, step outside and get the shoes that you wanted so much. Like, he was just going off. I'm like, at this point, get out my iPhone. At that time, I had, like, an iPhone 4. And I pulled it out, and I started recording. I'm like, first of all, first of all, first of all, who do you think you're talking to on my property? Don't you dare come up with all of that, homie. I'm, I said, as a business person, somebody that's working, you don't bring that to the customer. All I'm trying to do is get my shoes. I don't even know you. I didn't even say nothing like the mailman did not deliver my shoe. I just said the shoe is not at my house. I'm like, give me this um damn paper so I can sign it off. I did the ugliest um <laughs> signature and I threw it. And I was like, you so stupid. I'm like, for that, I said, I will be telling your manager and your supervisor now how you came to my house. So have a nice day. At that point, y'all, it's crickets. He's silent because now he's standing there like, what did I just do? So guess what, y'all? I was so mad I called my mom. She's like, yeah, you better report that girl. I I called Lisa and I told her I have the recording of, you know, the mailman coming to my house, being very disrespectful, jumping off, being hella rude. And I said, you know, and as a customer, I don't deserve that because I didn't do nothing to none of y'all for y'all to do that to me. All I'm trying to do is inquire information about my shoes. And I told her, um, you know, can I write a complaint? She said, you could do it online. I said, no, I want to do it there so you can, you know, see that I'm not lying to you as I have proof. So that's exactly what I did, y'all. Went to the post office. I <laughs> filed a complaint about him. Um, I played the recording. I think he was suspended for a little bit, a couple days, y'all. Like, because I haven't seen him ever since, like, deliver the mail. I see him now, but after that incident, I didn't see him for, like, maybe a week or two. At that point, I felt like he could have done anything to me 
and I was already home by myself, and you know, you're just coming at me, popping off, and I didn't do nothing to you. You're complaining to me about what was going on at your branch or, you know, whatever was happening. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was my story on the shoes. About the eBay seller, I did describe, I did personally um, message him about everything that was going on. He said that he greatly apologized and he was going to refund me my um, shipping money. He said ASAP. He said, matter of fact, I'm on it right now. He never did. I never received it. So um, I waited two days actually for him to send it to me. He didn't send it. So what I did, I just wrote what I felt. I said, you know, the shoes is nice. It's authentic and all of that. But he needs help on his shipping. It took, I went through hell and back to receive these shoes. So I gave him like two out of five stars. I just could not deal with him. I will never be purchasing from him again, regardless if the shoe was real or not. Just the experience. You never want to go through a headache when dealing with trying to get something that you really wanted or something that you paid for. I always feel like your customers should just go through a breeze with getting something. And I didn't. And I blame him and let alone the post office. I don't know what could have been better at this point, y'all. But it was just really, really bad. Like, I still can't believe that happened to me this day. All just to get these pair of J's. Actually, when I got these shoes, I let it wait in my closet for about three weeks before I wore it. Because I was just so livid. Because I'm like... I spent so much on these and the headache that caused me to get them. So yeah, y'all, I hope you guys <laughs> um, like this story time. Please let me know if you want more. I do have crazy stories. This just happened to be one of them. As you can see, my mailman definitely cursed me out, wanted to tell me a handful about what was going on. And I just, it was just crazy. So yeah. Appreciate you all. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media so we can connect with each other. Love you. Stay blessed. Stay safe.